Well, thank you for joining me this morning. I'm glad that you're back today. We have a very important subject that we as Christians are discussing. And I hope that you were with me yesterday and all through the rest of the week, I hope that you'll be with me as we talk about how to witness to a fellow believer who's going through a, a hard situation in their life. Maybe they've got caught up and they're a victim of this economic downturn that all of us are aware of in the world today. As I was saying yesterday, how do we witness to a believer, one who loves the Lord Jesus Christ, but yet they're going through a situation where maybe they had a loss of employment or a foreclosure on a home or repossession of a car, and they're feeling down and out, and they don't know what to do and where to turn to. But you and I have got to be witnesses, according to the book of Acts chapter 1 and verse 8. We're to be witnesses of Jesus Christ to those people as well. Now today, I want to key in on the scripture found in 3 John verse 2. And I want to read that for you today. It says this. It said, Beloved, I wish above all things that thou mayest prosper and be in health, even as thy soul prospers. What is God saying to us today? He's saying that God will provide recovery of well-being to you. No matter what you're going through, no matter what you face, you might feel that you're a victim of circumstance and situation. You might say, well, it's not my fault. I, I've done nothing. I've just got caught up in this economic downturn, and because of it, things are not going well. But God says to you that he will provide recovery of well-being for you. Don't give up. Hang in there. God has something better planned for you. God bless you. I'll see you tomorrow.